Hello artists! Today we are going to create a butterfly that has symmetry. What symmetry? Symmetry is when something is the same on both sides. Did you know that butterflies have symmetry? Butterfly wings are always the same on both sides. If you see a shape on this wing, you're going to see the same shape on the other wing. The materials we need for this project are pencil, Sharpie, oil pastel, and paint. But don't worry, if you don't have all of those materials at home, you can do this project in any way that works for you. I can't wait to see what you create. For the first step of this project, we are going to use pencil. When I draw my butterfly, I like to start with a big hot dog shape in the middle. It's funny because it really does look like a hot dog. But if you think about it, butterflies all start off their life as a caterpillar. And it's kind of like we're drawing the caterpillar in the middle. You can give your caterpillar little antennas if you want. I'm gonna give mine eyelashes. And you can do some little stripes on the body. It's up to you. Now it's time for the wings. When I do the wings, I like to think of drawing a big number three. So I'm gonna draw a big number three on this side for this wing. And then I'm going to draw a backwards three on the other side trying to make my wings kind of about the same on both sides so they have symmetry. The next step is going to be to add shapes onto our butterfly's wings. Notice how there's a circle on this side and there's a matching circle on this side, so we created symmetry. If I do a triangle over here, I need to do a matching triangle over here. I like to start at the top of my butterfly and work my way down. So if I do a rectangle here, then I have a matching rectangle here. If I do three circles, then I do three circles. So you can get really creative and draw shapes and even lines as long as you're making your butterfly the same on both sides. And I can't wait to see the butterfly designs that you come up with. The next step is to outline and trace your butterfly with Sharpie. We do this because when we add paint later, our lines will still show up nice and dark through the paint. So try your best to stay on your pencil lines and trace everything you did with Sharpie. If you don't have Sharpie, you could use a black marker or a pen. When you finish tracing your butterfly with Sharpie, it's time to add color with oil pastels. But I don't have oil pastels. Do you have crayons? Yes. You can use those. So using your oil pastels or your crayons, you're going to add color outlines to your butterfly. Since we're still creating symmetry, if you trace something in pink on one side, you need to do the matching color on the other side. So make sure you're still creating symmetry on your whole butterfly when you do your colorful outlines. Don't worry about coloring in the shapes. We're gonna do that with paint. Okay, when you finish outlining all of your shapes with color, it's time to move on to paint. These are the kinds of paints we have at our house, but you can use whatever you want to add color. And if you don't have paint, get creative. Maybe you use markers or crayons, whatever you want. Now, we're still going to be creating symmetry with our paint. So if you paint something yellow on one side, you need to paint it yellow on the other side. If you paint something red on one side, you need to paint it red on the other side. Okay, I'm almost done painting my butterfly and I made sure to have my colors match on both sides. And I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed making a butterfly today that showed mirror symmetry, the same on both sides. I had so much fun creating this art with you and I can't wait to see what you create. Looks like our artists are already drawing. <laughs>